Hello there, my name is Sam Don Levy. I'm head chef at Andaz London Liverpool Street. Today I'm going to prepare a few dishes, signature dishes for the hotel and the restaurant. Um, we're going to start off with our sort of famous burrata dish, which is made with hell and tomatoes. Um, simple basil pesto, very simple, very clean dish. Let's get started. First we're going to start off with just dressing the tomatoes. So we dress the tomatoes with a little bit of basil pesto. Um, a really good sprinkling of salt. And this is the base of our salad. So it's got fresh, clean flavors, uh, Italian flavors, Mediterranean sort of feel to it. So we start off with our burrata, Italian burrata. It comes to us delivered twice a week, uh, imported from Italy. And now we've got our tomatoes, English tomatoes, very seasonal. And we're just gonna dress the plate. Very nice, very colorful. We've got green tomatoes, red tomatoes, yellow tomatoes, all bringing different flavors from sweetness to a little sourness. Um, beautiful cherry tomatoes. So after we've plated our tomatoes, quite simple. We finish it off, a little bit of herb oil that we make in house, basil oil. And a nice bit of crackle pepper on the burrata. Again, a little bit of salt. A couple of nice slices of bread. And then we finish it off with a little bit of greenery, a little bit of rocket crust. And that's it. That's our first dish, which is the Helen tomato and burrata salad. Uh, the next dish I'm going to be preparing is a vegan dish. It's a cauliflower steak. It's marinated in harissa spice, and then it's finished off with baba ganoush, uh, hummus, some pomegranate, and some spiced pe uh, pine nuts. Um, the whole dish is balanced in a way that the baba ganoush and the hummus will cool down the spice of the harissa. Let's get started. So just over here, we have our roasted cauliflower steak. It's been uh, roast, pan roasted really hard. It's a really nice color. Um, the cauliflower has been marinated overnight with harissa spice, which is a blend of chilies, cumin, caraway seeds. And it just gives a beautiful spice to the cauliflower that um, has a subtle flavor and just needs a bit of uplifting. We're gonna start by plating up the dish. First thing we do, we have some baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is uh, barbecued aubergines, then is chopped and finished with some tahini, which is a uh, blend of white sesame seeds. So we have our baba ganoush. And then we have our cauliflower steak. And then we pipe on a little bit of a hummus.
a little sprinkling and sweetness of pomegranate. Some spiced pine nuts. And then we finish the dish with some coriander crust. And a little bit of red out front, just to give it a nice little pop of color to contrast with the green. And then just finish with a little bit olive oil and that's it we have our pan roasted cauliflower steak marinated in harissa uh, garnished with baba ganoush hummus pomegranate and pine nuts For our third dish, we're going to do pan roasted gresenum duck. Uh, we're going to serve this with an aniseed carrot puree, seared broccoli, and then a five spice stew. Um, it's quite a balanced dish. Obviously, you've got the sweetness of the carrots, but and then it's contrasted with the, the sort of uh, fennel -y aniseed of the star anise. And then uh, we've got uh, a little bit of bitterness from the seared broccoli. And then we've got a beautiful duck breast that's just been pan roasted, uh, cooked just medium rare. And then, ah, that's it. Let's cook. So now I'm going to start off by uh, carving my duck breast, which has just been pan roasted. Um, so we cut it into three nice pieces. It should be nice and pink. And then we're gonna plate up the rest while the duck ro uh, rests. So we have our carrot puree, which has been cooked with aniseed, it's a star anise. We start off with a nice dollop in the middle of the plate. A little splat. Then we place our duck. Then our seared broccoli. So it's just been seared, just cooked under the salamander. Uh, it gives a beautiful bitterness and it's a really nice way to cook the broccoli. And then we finish it off with a little bit of five spice dew. So it just gives it a little bit of an Asian influence. And then just, just on the duck, just a little bit of molden sea salt. And then we just finish it. Again, with just a little bit of cress, just to make it a little bit more pretty. And that's it. We have our Gresnum pan roasted Gresnum duck, seared broccoli, 
an aniseed carrot puree with a five spice stew. Thank you. For my last dish, we're gonna be celebrating eggs. So I've made a beautiful Spanish uh, omelette made with Clarence Court Bertha Brown eggs. It's literally a, an omelette cooked with fried potato and caramelized onion. And then I'm gonna finish off the dish with a chorizo dressing and a little herb salad. So first element on the dish is the omelette. So it's just been uh, pan roasted uh, and then cooked in the middle, uh, cooked in the oven till just set. And then we're gonna add our dressing. Our dressing is uh, a chorizo dressing that's just been slowly reduced with some sherry vinegar, some roasted red peppers and some uh, red onion. And then just for a little bit of freshness, there's some fresh tomato concas and parsley. So just one nice spoonful. A little bit of this oil, which is where all the flavors are. And then we just have a little herb salad, a little bit of dressing. And that's it. That's my Spanish omelette, treats or dressing and herb salad. These are part of my favorite equipment to use in the kitchen. These are my Mac knives. I have the whole selection imported from Japan. Sliced through meat, fish like butter. They're truly unbelievable. The, the steel is amazing. These are, some of them are two to three years old and they, they still look brand new. Can't uh, recommend these highly enough. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe and like.